This game, according to Fisher, was a typical illustration of Botvinnik style. This system with the pawn to g3 was already typical uh, for Botvinnik's opening repertoire. Here it is now common to play pawn to e5, but of course at the time the theory of this opening uh, was only starting to get developed. Here a good plan for black could have been uh, rook to b8 followed by a6 and b5 with some kind of expansion on the queen side. Instead um, he made a mistake and um, slowly the position started to slide down. The knight on e2 was not placed as well as it could have been on f3, but um, after this exchange on d4, uh, this basically doesn't matter anymore. And uh, what black gets is some sort of uh, a Marathi structure, uh, but the bishop on uh, g3 is, on g2 is probably better placed than it would be on e2. Also, uh, black's knight on d7 isn't uh, too well placed. So this generally becomes a favorable um, structure for white. If we now simply count the moves that the black uh, knight made, we'll realize the black lost two tempi because it took him three moves to get to c6. Apparently Botvinnik borrowed this idea of uh, knight to d5 uh, from the games of Rubinstein and uh, he often utilized this maneuver in this pawn structure. I in this particular game this maneuver is also good because white has a lead in development. Uh, black is trying to be active and, and this is of course something that he should be doing. Here it was possible to play c5 but instead the uh, white chose a standard plan which involves uh, using the pawn majority on the queen side. Now white has two pawns against uh, black's uh, lonely a pawn. This move is relatively passive and uh, instead um, it was better to play pawn to a5. Um, after the plan that black chooses, white is basically able to advance his pawns on the queen side and it becomes more and more difficult for black to obtain any counterplay. Uh, but in general the structure is pretty nice for white because he has pressure on the e-file and he has the plan of uh, possibly advancing pawns on the queen side. Um, so of course it's not difficult to def it's not easy to defend a position like that. This move is a mistake. It weakens the e6 square and it weakens the black king. Uh, the idea of this move is to play rook to f7 so that uh, black can defend the e pawn one extra with one extra piece. But uh, the same idea could have been achieved if he played pawn to a5 and then rook a7 could have been uh, used to defend the e7 pawn. White begins to advance the pawns on the queen side and black's pieces are kind of awkwardly placed and it's also bad to take on a4 because then the e7 pawn is going to fall. Uh, black's pieces don't have too many moves because uh, they're all tied up with defending the a7 pawn and the e7 pawn. Um, and sooner or later white is going to defend the b5 pawn then advance the pawn to uh, a5 and then to a6 and then black is going to com to be completely suffocated because then the bishop's not going to have any moves um, and it's really hard to defend the position from here for black so black chose to play a6 but now white simply has a passed pawn uh, that becomes very dangerous So black managed to get one of his pieces relatively active, um, the rook on c5. And as soon as this happens, white trades it off because he doesn't want uh, black to have any active pieces at all. Now if black takes on a5, then rook to c7 is probably going to decide the game.
with this move, uh, White pretty much wins the game by force because um, he utilizes the advantage of the pawn that's advanced to b6, and also if Black takes on um, e6, then the White Bishop on g2 is going to be activated and, and still going to help that pawn to to promote. Um, so Black played a few moves, but the game is pretty much over here. White's going to promote the A-pawn, so Black resigned. Uh, a very good positional game by Botvinnik. He basically suffocated Black's position using his pressure on the E-file and advantage on the Queen side. And after Black played a few natural but passive moves, and he was basically doomed to be kind of squeezed by Botvinnik, both in the center and on the um, on the queen side. And uh, the the pawn structure that um, we had in this game is kind of typical for the King's Indian and the Marit and the Maritza system. But uh, in 1927, I guess Black didn't uh, know all the active plans for putting pressure on. On the white center, and um, as a result, he lost without uh, too much fight.